laptop help, decorating, and fundraisers, and more on today's news. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, hot dogs. I'm your new host, Izzy. And I'm your other new host, Victor. For lunch today, in lunch one and two, will be spaghetti, three, a ham and turkey wrap, four, potato bar, and five is flatbread pizza. Also, happy birthday goes out to Jose Garcia, Itzel Garza, and Stevie Miller. Now with a few short announcements. Hey freshmen and sophomores, it's your turn to stress about college. Come to the collaboration room during community for help on looking for colleges that best fit your interests. Also, don't forget to wear your college hats tomorrow for Spirit Week. Seniors during community come to room 129 or the counselor's office for help on applying for colleges. Senior class will be starting decorations for the float this week. Anyone interested in helping out can contact a student council member or officer for more information. Karina Castadina was chosen to be a member of the Indiana Department of Education's Student Advisory Council. She will serve a two-year term on the council. The advisory council is composed of one student from each of Indiana's nine congressional districts, plus two at-large members. She will be invited to the Indiana State House one time per semester during her junior and senior year. Karina will provide a forum for high school students to participate in meaningful discussion of education matters impacting the local, state, and national level. Congratulations, Karina. Now on to sport results with Yasmin. The girls golf team shot a 449 at sectionals. Sydney Caesar led the way shooting an 88. Emily Shipley followed with a 106. Tori Hopkins finished with a 125. Raylan Mitchell shot a 130. Carly Blessler finished with a 133. Sydney Caesar will advance to regionals this weekend. Congratulations, Sydney. The boys tennis team traveled to Delphi and the score was Delphi 4 and Frankfurt 1. In singles play, Noah Wilder played against Jaden Long defeating him on both sets. Jim Osler put up a fight against Ethan Nelson but was defeated by two points on both sets. Chase Thomas then was defeated by Dylan Hillman on the last two sets. For the doubles, Riley Grasham and Luke Hodge fell to the other team 1-6-0-6 as well as Elijah West and Carter Wilson ending 4-6 on both sets. The next match is today at home versus Tipton at 5. On Saturday, the Frankfurt Hot Dogs soccer team traveled to Covington, Indiana to participate in the Covington Invite. The Hot Dogs played extremely well in the opening match of the tournament against Covington and won 4-1. to one. Senior Alex Bertrand scored a hat-trick in the game and senior Chris Hernandez added the other goal. Sophomore Chris Mejia had an assist in the game. Frankfurt then took on Faith Christian in the championship match and struggled in the first half. Faith Christian took advantage of the Hot Dogs and scored three times. Alex Beltran scored the lone goal for the Frankfurt, making the halftime score 3-1. Faith Christian would then find the back of the net again in the second half as the Hot Dogs fixed their sluggish first half play. Frankfurt was unable to overcome their struggles from the first half and lost 4-1. The Hot Dogs are now 8-4 on the season and host the Red Devils of Rest Lafayette today. Kickoff is at 5-30. If you are unable to attend, HDTV will be broadcasting the game live. Now to weather with Izzy. Thanks, Yasmin. For weather today, expected to be partially cloudy for most of the day, with the high of 76 and a low of 50 degrees. Expect this week to be a little colder. That's all for weather. Now back to the studio. On September 28th, there will be a fundraiser for Daniel Olives. Daniel is still fighting against cancer, and we need all the help we can get. They will be selling food, del several delicious desserts. There will also be a raffle ticket and other fun activities for kids. All proceeds will be donated to, towards the Olivas family. Remember, this event will be held on September 28th from 9 to 1 at 2204 West Green Street. That's it for your daily announcements. Make sure you like and subscribe. Peace.